Okay, a few quick tips. Remember, your titles on your tables must have the uncertainty. So plus or minus one millimeter over here, your graph must have the uncertainty as well, plus or minus one millimeter. And must your graph must say what those error bars are, so plus or minus one standard deviation. Okay, so you're going to need to get some um, extra tools into Excel. So if you click over here on File and scroll down to Options, over here the second to last one says Add-ins. Okay, this analysis tool pack, the second one, you need to add it in. It's where all the extra statistical analysis is. Okay, if you click OK, like I did 10 times yesterday, nothing happens. Why? Because you have to click Go. So click Go, and then you click on OK. All right, so now under the Data tab is a button called the Data Analysis. If you click on that, okay, and you scroll down, you're going to see three different t-tests. Okay, we're going to use the second one that says t-test, two sample, assuming equal variance. The paired one is again for if you have uh, maybe a before and after that you're comparing. And the unequal variance, I'm not sure, but it doesn't calculate the degrees of freedom properly, so it's, I don't know. Um, what's wrong with that, but that's what happens. So we're using the second one, t-test, two sample, assuming equal variance. Again, we're assuming that we used the same method, so the variance should be similar. Okay, so click OK. So variable range 1, I highlight the data from species A. For species B, I highlight the data. OK. Is that right? Yes. 0.05 means that's the p-value that we're going to look for, and I click OK. And what it does is it op actually opens this whole data table in a new um, sheet. So it's going to tell us for um, species A and species B, the mean, the standard deviation, and then of course here I can see my degrees of freedom was 18, okay, 10 of each sample added together is 20, minus 2 is 18. T-STAT, here's the number that was calculated for these species, so 4.22. You want to use the absolute value of that number because what it's saying here in negative 4.22 is that um, species A was minus, was smaller than species 2 um, by that much, so you want to take the absolute value. So 4.22, that's your T-STAT value. And then we're going to look at this one down here that says T critical two tails. Again, why? It's a black box because I said so. All right, so I'm going to click back to my sheet, I think. Okay, here it is. So the T test P value, nope, oh, I didn't look at that. Where was my P value? Right here. It says P two tails, 0 0.0005. Okay, definitely less than 0 0.05, so 0 0.0005. My t-stat was 4.22, my t-critical was 2 point something, 01 maybe, 2.1. Again, this t-critical value, you could look it up in the table, right, but Excel gives it for you. So if you had looked up 18 degrees of freedom at 95% confidence in the table, it would have given you 2.1. So 4.22 is greater than 2.1, so you can say that yes, there is a significant difference. Reject the null hypothesis. Okay, now remember that only compared species A to species B, but what if I wanted to compare all three species, so species A, B, and C? I can do what's called an ANOVA test. So again, click on Data Analysis, scroll up, ANOVA single factor, that means you're only looking at one thing, in this case the bill length, okay, and click OK. And the input range, I'm just going to highlight all three data sets. Okay, again at 0.05%, click OK, 0.5%, okay, and then it is going to give me a p-value right here, p-value, okay, so 1.47 times 10 to the negative 9, um, that's a very small number, so yes, there is a significant difference between all three 
group. So this was, what did I just say? 1.49 times 10 to the minus 9, right? That was what the number for the p-value from the ANOVA. So that's telling me, yes, there's definitely a significant difference between all three. It just doesn't tell me which three there's a significant difference between specifically. So is it between a and B or A and C. So anyway, then you could keep doing more t-tests to compare. Now do a t-test between species B and C. Do a t-test between species A and C. So you could do a few more t-tests to test that out. So that's it.